God, I love that intro. That's by Digital Shock. It's kind of like, and it's four minutes and 17 seconds long. It's like the, lo- the numbers of Lucifer to Lightbringer, <laughs> which match up to my latitude, longitude, and my birth. But nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, what a great rock instrumental to get you jazzed up and ready for how to decode using the sine and cosine waves. So welcome out everybody, all you great decoders out there around the world, wherever you may be, both male and female. I really appreciate all of you being here today, joining me in on this live podcast on doing some, you know, what I consider some advanced decoding. Uh, I hope by now, well, I mean, of all of you are here, you're interested in going beyond just the simple Simon stuff of connecting words to numbers. That's a great starting point. But if you really want to go deeper down the rabbit hole and get a sense of what this source code is all about, adding in multiple layers is where it's at, which, you know, as all of you know, it's sine and cosine waves, it's pi and phi, it's the tarot, it's the cards of illumination, it's alchemy, the periodic table, prime numbers. These are all layers that you can take into consideration when decoding. But the sine and cosine waves are very, very important because they represent this reality that we're all playing out through the machinations of electricity and magnetism. Electricity and magnetism. And that, that's really where it's at. Okay. So I'm going to be jumping around. Just bear with me on this. Um, I really, uh, I, I have, I have some slides that I've prepared, but I'm going to be showing, <coughs> I'm showing my, uh, my, uh, my browser quite a bit with, um, showing you some number empire.com kind of how I decode, you know, and it's not just the sun and cosine waves. There are other layers that we're going to be getting into today uh, or tonight, wherever you're at in the world today. So let's let's kind of jump into this and uh, let me just get my slides ready here. So I want to start out with um, kind of starting off with this right here, this movie called Pi. And many, I would imagine most of you have seen this movie. A classic, it's a classic movie directed by Darren and um starring sean sean goulet right and if you start to if you decode this movie it's a a mind blow kind of decode and i'm using just this as an an example i'm going to be decoding using many numbers with the sine and cosine waves and it's it's not really difficult to do this ladies and gentlemen okay but i wanted to use this as the starting point of the of this presentation and we come down here and i have it highlighted in blue is that they, they included this in the movie. They took 748 and they divided it by 238, which, you know, when you, when you go to that, here it is, 748 divided by 238, and it gives you pi. And, you know, again, pi is the measurement that makes up this reality. And three is the trinity three is lith uh, lithium remember lithium is used in patients for brain disorders <laughs> okay 5150 and bipolarism <coughs> and you could start to decode this kind of stuff but but here it is just from this movie here from pi it's just this movie is insane when you decode it the guy Sean Gillette, this guy right here, who he was born on the 155th day of the year, June 4th. And when you take that 155, it's pi. You see, it's just crazy how this movie is all tied to pi. But nonetheless, this, this is the starting point. Is the 748 divided by 238. So when you do the sine and cosine waves of these numbers right here. We, we go to the next slide here and, and here, here they are added up all together. Now there are several ways to look at the sine and cosine waves in your decoding. You can look at the first number from the sine and cosine wave. So the number 748 is the two and the nine. That's 29. That's going to lead to copper and Yaldabaoth and many different layers. It's the 10th prime number. 
10 fingers and 10 toes. And then you have 238, which is 67. 67 is holmium. We all, what we always want to do, what you always want to do is fact check these numbers against the periodic table. Always. You always want to fact check them against the periodic table because these give all the clues here. More clues than anything. These, because you get pictures to look at, you get what, what rows they're in, the density of these, the isotopes, the abbreviations, the names, you can do the numerology of all that kind of stuff. And you can get into the <laughs> sine and cosine waves of all this stuff as well. But this 67 is holmium, right? Holmium right here is the most magnetic element on the periodic table. Remember, it's tied to Keanu Charles Reeves. If you saw my White Rabbit Resurrections decoded, 67 is Keanu Charles Reeves and then Trinity was 64. Or 47, excuse me. The most electric, which was silver. But you have holmium. So think about this here, that pi, what they're using in the movie here is going to be tied to these numbers, 67 and 29. And you can, you can take those numbers as well, 67 and 29. Let me get to my calculator here. You can, uh, you can, you can do 29 and you can add the 67 and you're going to get the number 96. You see, so now we have another layer to take into consideration. Now we have the yin yang. We have the element curium. And then we get into the number 247 and it's just endless from there. So you can take this 96, you can go to the periodic table, go to the 96 element. You see that the average weight is 247. Now you can go to numberempire.com and you can factor in this 247 and then you're gonna get the sine and cosine waves that you can measure right here. So what, what you're gonna, you know, just to use this as the example from the sine and cosine wave that we found from <coughs> the 29 and 67 that we found from this example from pi. And I'm going to get to that 277 in a minute, but just using the first digits, the 29 and the 67, you're going to get this 96. And then you go here to the periodic table and you get the 247. And then you can just do the sine and cosine wave from here, 247. And what you just want to do is you want to copy this. And when you go to your gematronator.com, I'm going to suggest you get rid of all these ciphers and just go with a four in one Greek because the Greek, when I place any English words in here, it will not pick it up. So you want to use one of these Greek or Hebrew. It's only going to pick up the numbers because if you go with English, it's going to throw it off. You see, you get 201 because it's adding in the cosine word here. So you want to get rid of that. And so the 247 sine and cosine wave, 136, and it's a double 68. And double and 68 is going to mean erbium and erbium is going to mean duality. Just, you just keep going with this. You must connect the words to numbers, to sine and cosine waves, to pi and phi. You can go and put it into pi and phi and all that kind of stuff. 137 is going to be tied to barium and the 56 and lights, camera, action. So it's going to talk about the movie with this. Found from this right here. The division of what this movie pi is all about. What they're talking about here. What they're using as an example. But the total sine and cosine wave for the 748 and 238 together is the number 277. 277. Now, you get, if you know what that number means. So the 277, it's a freaking prime number, folks. So the example they're using here in this movie, Pi, 748 divided by 238, going into the sine and cosine waves, it ends up landing at the 277, which is the, what is 59? 59 is the game of life. So this is very clear now, ladies and gentlemen, using the sine and cosine waves, that sine and cosine wave meaning pi represents the game of life. That's what we're all playing out. Now, if you haven't seen my video on Illumination Decoded, thanks all of you for watching it. It's one of my most viewed uh, but this, this example right here by Russell Kitely is a perfect example of how sine and cosine wave works of magnetism and electricity. One wave goes up, one wave goes across as this wheel turns. It's how this works. So you could, this, this measures the numbers, the sine wave and the cosine wave. And together they form a partnership in this reality. 
Okay, that's that's how the sine and cosine waves work. And this is exactly what this example from Pi, the movie, you're living in it. You're living in Pi. And it's the game of life. That's what that's what we're living in, folks. That's what we're living in. So you can take this 59 now. Now, this is a big number. It's the 17th prime number. 17 is life. So we can take this 59 and we can easily just look at the sine and cosine wave of that. So 59. 17th prime number means life, the game of life. And then all we got to do is just come down here, copy this, control C or command C, come to your Dramatronator, and then just place it here. Make sure you're using one of these foreign ones so you don't have to eliminate the cosine. It's not going to change it if I do. But now we have 121. So 59 sine and cosine wave is the total is 121. What is 121? Well, we go back to the periodic table. What element has the 120? Now, there's uh, these elements, by the way, many of, them have, many of them have the same isotopes because they bleed into one another. But the one that stands out is antimony, which is tied to the all-seeing eye, which is, if you've been paying attention, this is the implant in your brain, in our brains. What I feel is running this reality. So the game of life through the sine and cosine waves lands on antimony and the 121, the average, and the 51. And you can keep going with this. You can go and look at the 121 here, and we can do the sine and cosine wave over the 121. It just, it's endless. Okay, so we can go here, do the same thing, put it here, and now we get the 127. What is the 127? Well, it's a prime number, but we go right back to the periodic table, it's tied to the element tellurium, which means earth. So you have antimony, the all-seeing eye, playing out through human beings on earth, which is the prison planet, which is magnetism and electricity. That's what all this stuff means. That's how simple this is with the sine and cosine waves. Okay? Just from the game of life in 59. Let's give you a few more examples. How about this shot right here? This, I, I didn't even put this out on my YouTube channel. So this is the first time I'm putting it out here. I did do it on the social media. But how about this? That's to me is absolutely undeniable. The recycle symbol is the all seeing eye in the middle. And it's this through the string of pi now. Most of you know this is the loop. The anomaly that I found in pi that I have not been able to find anywhere else. 19, 37, 46, which they become duplicates becomes 75, 93, 39, which become 333. But as you notice at the top there, history repeats itself as a 75, which is tied to this loop and anomaly found in pi, this number 75. So the 75 is important. The 75 is important. Let's look at the 75. So we come here, obviously, just very easy. 75, come down. And we now look at the sine and cosine wave. Now, notice before I do that, you get the 0.3 and 0.9. What is 3 and 9 when you go to the periodic table? It's going to be yttrium, which is 88. Now, you got to remember, ladies and gentlemen, this is how tightly woven this code is. When you look at the original word for Lucifer, it's halil, it's hell. All right. And what you got to do to get the accurate measurement of it, you got to go to the Hebrew where it came from. So when we do that, <coughs> let's get the Hebrew. Um, this is going to be important to show you. So here's the three outcomes for halil, which means the light bringer. 75, it reduces down to the 39, which reduces down to the 12, which reduces down to three, which is pi. Okay, there's the 39 through the original, here's the original expression of the Hebrew, the 39. And you see it right there with the sine and cosine wave, 39 right there. And it's tied to the number 75, which is the origination of Lucifer, 75. Remember that 75 is also tied to the element rhenium. And rhenium's atomic mass is 186, and the speed of light is 186,000 miles per second in a vacuum tube. The speed of light is. So Lucifer is the light bringer, okay? That's what it means. 
So that's how you can read this just by the single digits. And then you can take the 38 and you can add in the 92 together. And you can get an outcome there. But when we take the full sine and cosine wave, we get 135. We get 135. What is 135? Where does that fit in the scheme of things? Well, once again, you can go to the periodic table and you can start to look at where's the 135 at? It's going to fit inside barium. Barium right here, you go down to the oxidation states and isotopes. There it is. It's one of the isotopes. Again, these elements are going to bleed into one another. So you probably get, you're going to find it in cesium. You're going to find it in lanthanum. 55, 56, 57. But there's the 135 right there. It's 135. And the word simulation is 35. The, the 100, that show that got thrown down to earth, the fallen angel story, down into the movie. And it's, you know, it's isotope 136. If you go to the isotope 135, it, it's going to be 134, which is pi, 3.14. You see? That's why you got to round these things up. Science is going to round it up. It's going to be isotope 135. But it's 134.906. There's pi right there. So essentially, what this is telling you, the sine and cosine wave of 75 is going to be barium and the movie and lights, camera, action. That's what it means. And what is, how do you get the movie playing? You need light. That's what Lucifer's all about. That's where he comes into play or it comes into play. So history repeats itself. Well, we may just never get out of this game. And we are just, just using the 75. You can go gangbusters with this. You can do the 333 if you add all these numbers up. You can get the sine and cosine wave of that. It just, it's never ending. It's bottomless. But the closer you get to these numbers, the clearer of a picture you're going to get with all this kind of stuff. Let's jump into, how about this? Enter the game of life. Those of you that watch my exit decoded, I showed this. You enter the game of life and the number 80 represents that. So what's the sine and cosine wave of the number 80? <laughs> 138. <clears throat> if you do the singularity of them, it's 84. What's 84? Tied to 37, tied to rubidium and the, the, the all-seeing eye. So the all-seeing eye coming down and 54 is xenon and it means stranger in my head. So it's light coming down to become man or woman. And the 138, as if you follow Jason from Archaics, the 138 is tied to the, the Phoenix event. So now you can see that the sun and coastal wave have so much relevance to this. And the 138, what is that tied to? You go right back to the periodic table and you're going to find it, whoops, you're going to find it in the element land phantom to means to lie hidden. 57, which is tied to Lucifer again, the light bringer. 57 is going to be tied to this right here. <clears throat> Let me get rid of all these. Just focus on the Chaldean here. It's going to be tied to this right here. You see, 57, the Truman Show. So what do you think this element means? The 138, 57 is tied to the Truman Show. Tell, it's telling you that you're inside of a movie. All found from enter the game of life. That's what the sine and cosine wave tells us. This means the Truman Show. This means the movie that we're in. You enter the game of life, the number 80. And you even have the single digits, the nine and the one, nine and one, as most of you know, are tied to the word battery. Either 91, following the sine and cosine, or the cosine sine, not the 19. It means the battery. The game of life is a battery. That's what this means right here. What about exiting the game? What about exiting the game? Well, it's the number 74. What is the 74 sine and cosine wave? It's the 91 as well. So is just entering and exiting the game, is it just, is it just a, a, a never-ending loop? Do we ever get out of it? Well, the, the exit part is the 124. So what's the 124? Go right back to the periodic table. <clears throat> I always want to go right back to the periodic table and you're going to get into this element right here, antimony and tellurium. Tellurium, come down to the oxidation states and isotopes. There it is. 124. 
Now, the natural abundances give us clues as well. So what is 7.07? 77. And what is 77? 77 is iridium. What is iridium tied to? Your iris. Your iris. What is the, what is the rainbow? It's, it's you, the human, the, the human experience. It's tied to your pupil and your eye. If you haven't seen this, oh, I covered it in my illumination decoder. I just killed that. Damn it. Let me just quickly go here. Uh, let me go to my videos again. So it's in this. Illumination decoded. Your iris and pupil. Okay? That, that, that's, what, that's what this means right here. Exit the game of life, 124, 124, tied to the element eventually leading to iridium. You exit the eye. You, you leave behind what you see. You leave behind experiencing the game. If there is such a thing. And the, boi and the, you know, the melting point and the boiling point have big clues as well. Look at what the boiling point is of iridium. Perhaps turning into a gas transmutation, 471, which is tied to Lucifer, the light bringer. Exit the light. Exit the light. All found from this right here. Now, you can keep going with this. And this is my final slide for this right here. I'm going to do some singular numbers here in a minute. But we have exit the game. Enter the game of life is Mercury 80. There's the 200. There's the fallen angel story. There was 200 fallen angels. I don't think there's a limit to that. I think it's just ongoing. But there it is. Mercury is 23. Just like pineal gland. So when you enter the game of life, you enter into a human being and the human being experience is ruled over partially by the pineal gland, which is what kind of directs the light. And then to exit the game, it's tungsten and the big W and the light bulb tied to Jesus and Lucifer. And it's tied to the number 35. So you, you enter the pineal gland, you exit the simulation. Tungsten is 35. This is how numerology works on the most basic levels. But the 80 and 74 are the numbers of the enter and exit. Even the enter is 21, exit is 15. You can decode these as well. Let's go back to the 75 here. Let's go back to the 75. And let's, let's look at this on a deeper level. So we copy and paste this here and we get the 135 with history repeats itself being the number 75. What's really interesting about this 135 is I had just done this with Jordan. It's tied to this word right here called apocalypse. <laughs> so when we put this in here, you got to get the A. It doesn't pick up the A, but there it is. Apocalypse is 135. So what is this telling us? Well, history repeats itself. The apocalypse is part of that. The great revealing is part of that. Perhaps the recycle loop that we never get out of, maybe, tied to Lucifer and the light bringer that, that is designed to bring the simulation forward. It's tied to the word apocalypse. How about that? It's right there. You can't miss it. 135. 135 from the sine and cosine wave from the number 75. Okay. So these are very, very supportive with making out how this reality works. How about we're going and looking at that number 80 again? The number 80, which is tied to enter the game of life, the 138. I already showed that. The 138, I already showed that. Sorry about that, folks. The 138 is the Lanthanum and the Truman Show. So I already showed that. How about the number 35? What about doing the 35 since 35 is tied to the simulation? What about down the sine and cosine wave of that? You're going to get the 4 and the 9. 4 and 9. What is 49? Down in a hole. Simulation. You go down into the hole. The hole means the simulation. The hole is 20. What is 20? You go down into duality. And you have what's called a birthday. All right. That's what the 35 means from simulation. 
49, just using the first two digits of each. Then you can do the 42, which is life, the universe, everything, and the 90, which is going to give you thorium, molybdenum and thorium. But if we do the sine and cosine waves of the number 35, this one's really interesting. We get the number 123. Now, you, again, you can take the full amount. And what's 71? Lutetium. What is lutetium? Lucifer. What is Lucifer? The light bringer. What does the light do? It brings the simulation forward. It makes the simulation happen. It makes this movie happen. It delivers the movie to the world. 71 is lutetium. Those of you that want to see, you go to the number 71, which is right here. And, you know, Manly P. Hall, Lucifer's number, 741. The, I mean, that's pretty dead on right there. Lou, Lucy, Lucifer. Even Lutetium is 33 in numerology. Can't miss that right there. And that's what it means right here. So you have Lucifer, and then what's the 52? 52, we go back to the periodic table. It means Earth. You see, Lucifer delivers the light to the Earth. 52. 127 is a prime number. All found just from the number 35. So what does the number 35 mean? It means Lucifer, the light bringer, bringing the light to the game on the world stage called Tellurium. And you can add up Lutetium and Tellurium. You can, you know, you can go to the calculator again and we could take the 174 and we can add the 127 and we can get a total of 301. What is 301? 3.1? 3 127 is the 31st prime number? These are big numbers right here. Big numbers tied to the game of life in the simulation. All found from the 35 sine and cosine wave. Now, if we go a little bit further with this, the 123, I'm trying to remember how I found this. That's right. If I take this 123 and I go into the string of the golden ratio, No, it wasn't there. It was right there. That's right. The 35 for the simulation is 56 and 57. 56 and 57. When you add those numbers up, you're going to get the number 113. And if you do the 113, so let's just show you again. So when we get 56 plus 57, you're going to get 113. So we want to do the sine and cosine wave of that. 113. It's the 30th prime number tied to the rabbit. Follow the rabbit down into time. We do the sine and cosine wave of this. Put it into here. Copy, paste. And look at what number we get. 137. What's 137? We go right back to the periodic table. It's 56 in barium. 137 being the 33rd prime number. And then we just go and we look at lights, camera, Action, 56. You see? All found from the number 35. We, we started with the 35, brought it into the string of the golden ratio, occupies 56 and 57, adds up to 113. We go and put that 113 into the number empire.com. It not only gives us the 30th prime number, which is tied to the rabbit, it's going to be tied to zinc. And then the clue with zinc is when you look at the element itself, Look at what it is. And if you go down to the uses and properties, look at what it says. The clue is that this background image is inspired by roofing materials. What is, what is Santa come down? Comes down the chimney from the roof, coming down to play the game. <clears throat> All found from the sine and cosine waves. Right here, just with zinc. And, you know, this is the 1111 element. You're going to find that 30 found a lot of Santa Claus equals 30, Nazareth equals 30, Zero Dark 30, that movie. 30 is a big deal. Demiurge equals 30, Jehovah equals 30. All found from this 113. So what about the 137, folks? Well, we know it's the 33rd prime number. We know it's tied to tungsten and you do the sine and cosine wave of 137. Again, copy paste, and it gives you the 120. Now, what you have here to look at again is the 63 total. 63 is tied to europium, 
And europium is tied to the 151, which is the 36 prime number, which means operating system. And then you have the 57, again, Lanthanum and the 138 in the Truman Show. So the, uh, this means operating system of the Truman Show, the operating system of the movie that we're playing out, and it's found from the number 137. This, no, this 137 means the operating system of this movie that we're playing out from these two numbers right here. 57 Lanthanum, 57 Truman Show, 63 being light. That's, this is light and europium. When you go to the periodic table and you look at 63, it's europium, it's 151. So you take the 151 and what, it, what is it? It's the 36 prime number. What does 36 mean? The operating system, which is 56. The operating system is lights, camera, action, which is Lucifer the light bringer. That's what operates this reality. Operating is 36. Jesus Christ is 36. Keys to the universe is 36, which is the I am. The 369. So that's this is how we this is how we do this here right here all found from that 137 and the 120 <laughs> and then you can take this 120 what is the 120 connected to on the periodic table back to antimony again the all-seeing eye again these elements all have many isotopes there it is look at what the natural abundance is of this 120 atomic mass of antimony 57 what is 57 it's Lanthanum. It's the Truman Show. It's right there. You see? And the 33 is right there with the, the two numbers of this sine and cosine wave from 137. Right there. And then you get the 93 here as well, which the 93 is going to be tied to right here. The recycle process. So somehow, some way, this all fits in there. And this is the source code playing out. This is the source code playing out. All right, let me go to some of your comments. Let's see if any of you... Let's check and see. Let's look at some of your comments here. So Robert Durome says there are two codes, organic and manipulated. Uh, Robert, I would say that is absolutely incorrect. There is just the organic code. That's it. I just showed it to you. That's my opinion. I got 300 plus videos to back that up. Uh, who else? 36 is Krypton. Absolutely. Krypton's 83. Slash 84, we showed that. Oh God, we got some people that I'm going to take out of here. Got the haters in the house. I just don't understand why people have to come in just to talk shit. It's just amazing. You just got to come in here just to push their ego. I'm just like, what, what is that helping? If you're here just to talk smack and you don't even really know what you're talking about, why are you even here? I'm, I'm here showing you something to learn from. Whether or not you want to take that and run with it, that's totally up to you. Um, somebody, Benny, saying there's a lot of buffering. Shouldn't be any buffering. I have an excellent connection over here. All right, let me see if I can give you, ladies and gentlemen, let's, let's go with maybe one more example. Um, let's try the number. So this, you know, this 21. 21 is a very big number because it, it, it's tied to Saturn. Saturn's 21. It's also tied to Zeus. Zeus is 21. It's also tied to the word love. Okay. So, and it's, it's a very big, 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 big number. Uh, when you go to the periodic table and you look at the number 21, you're going to find it with scandium right here. And, you know, this is a 
big, big teller of all things, the 44 slash 45, 44 is gold currency. 44 is going to go to the 101 right here, which is going to be the portal and going to be tied to the 26 prime number. Okay. So to me, to enter the game, it's whatever created this reality comes down and plays the game whenever it wants to. And, and, and if it doesn't want to come down and play the game, it's going to, it's going to play you remotely. Essentially, does that mean we all have controllers running all of us? Well, that's going to be up to you what you want to believe. It's all going to come down to what you want to believe. But this 21 is kind of a big deal. It's, you know, we tied to the word enter. Enter. Enter the game of life. So if you look at this 21, it's the eighth Fibonacci number, sixth triangular number. If you know what this stuff means, this, this is getting into polygonal shapes and sacred geometry. But 21, <coughs> it's the eight in the five. It's going to be tied to the 129. What is the 129? Go right back here. So you got to go down to the oxidation states and isotopes. The, uh, the most abundant weight of tellurium 129. You see, there's, there's many masses of this, but the most abundant is this 129. And the 129 is tied to the sine and cosine wave of enter the game. You enter the game. And when you enter the game, you enter tellurium, which is telus, which means earth. That, that, that's what this means. That's what, that's what this is telling us. Keep in mind, look at the melting point in Kelvin. Melting meaning transmutation from a one state to another. You melt down into a human being, 722, 7 divided by 22, pi. You see? That, that's the clues that this gives. But you got to know what you're looking for. You got to know what you're looking for. So the source code... The script that plays out that was already written before we all got here, you're just, you're just abiding by it. Sure, you can tap into it. You can see it. You're seeing it now. And then you say, well, I'm just going to start picking things on the calendar and do that. Fine. Go do that. But create something from your space of being a creator, not somebody who's trying to defend what somebody else is doing or push up against the resistance. And I don't feel that's what this game's all about. You can do that, but... This is a big clue found from the 21. What about the number 911 being the 156 prime number? What's 156 on the periodic table? It's going to fit right in between here, 63 and 64, which is going to be tied to Yaldabaoth and the yod heh vah -Heh. There's the GD element right there. There's the 156. It's going to be isotope 157, which is its average. 157. What's 57? The Truman Show. 100 rules the 57. Gadolinium, when you do the numerology of gadolinium, it's going to give you the 35, just like the word simulation. You see? So, and how many codons do we have in our DNA? 64. 64. 64 squares in a chessboard just from that 9-11. So you do the sine and cosine wave of the 9-11. You could do it of the 156 as well, but it's going to give you 146. You get the 65 tied to zinc, tied to terbium, the writing of the disc, <laughs> the writing of the disc, the 9-11. And then 81 is going to be tied to pi itself, tied to thallium, and perhaps the exit the way to get out of here, but the 146, what's the 146 tied to on the periodic table? It's going to be in between these two. This one I feel is going to be the most, the biggest standout, Samarium. Samarium is going to lead to pi. There's the 146 right there. You're also going to get a bleed over. Again, these elements bleed into one another, so you're going to get Promethium. The 145, it's going to be the 146 which is going to be the 147. And, you know, keep in mind, 147 is going to be tied to pi because you just go to March 14th. And March 14th is the 73rd and the 74th day of the year. If you take 73 and you add it to 74, you're going to get pi. 
I mean that you're going to get the uh, 147. 73 plus 74, 147. So the 147 is tied to pi itself. All found from the 911 starting there with the sine and cosine waves. This 146 is going to, is going to bleed into the 147. That, that's how you got to look at this kind of stuff. When you take these numbers and you put them into the string of pi, the 146... The 147, you can also use this website right here called decimal.info. And you can just add up the total digits. 147 digits. Hit the places right here. You just take this whole thing and you add it up. And it's going to give you 681. 681. If you remove that three, the three point, you're going to get 678. So you get 681. You can take the 681. You can put it in here. And you can look at the sine and cosine wave of the 681. What, a kind, what kind of outcome are we going to get for that? 155. What is 155? You go right back into the string of pi. 155 is found at the 314th decimal digit. You see how, see how the source code is working? This is the source code. That, this is the code that plays out our reality. All based in numbers. And it, it's all based in the sine and cosine waves which is, where is it, my, ah, I don't know where, I forgot where it's at. Oh, I don't know where it's at, but. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so that's kind of a wrap, man. I just, you know, I don't want to spend a ton of time on here. I appreciate each and every one of you. I hope you learned something with this. This is kind of just basic stuff, man. This is advanced decoding, though. So if you want to take your decoding to the next level, if you want to really go deeper and be someone who's more than just beyond the, num the words, attaching words to numbers, that's basic decoding. That's totally fine. That's where we all start. But if you want to take it to the next level and you want to see, and then you want to start attaching the, the tarot cards and you want to start attaching the cards of illumination, you want to bring those into the periodic table. This is stuff that you can all attach to. All of that. All right. So this is my decode or presentation, how to decode using the sine and cosine waves. You know, I appreciate each and every one of you for showing up. Even all you haters that are in here. We got to have those come in here. Those are just confused admirers. <laughs> the haters. The haters are, but... Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate each and every one of you. That's a wrap for today. How to decode using sine and cosine. I got some more stuff, more stuff coming out. I got some lessons on how to decode using the cards of illumination, how to decode using the tarot. These are all layers that like, you know, that you can learn to decode from just beyond just attaching words to numbers. Anybody can do that. A little kid can do that. That's easy to do. Get into this kind of stuff. You'll have many more keys to your kingdom. You'll get much more of a, an advanced look at how this reality works. All right. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks each and every one of you for showing up until next time.